Hey guys, welcome to my second video on this channel. Um, today I'll sh I'll be showing you how to jailbreak an iPhone 4 running iOS 7. This is a pretty easy process. It takes around 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your high hard drive speed. Uh, I prefer using an SSD because they're way faster. But still, with an SSD, it still takes a lot of time. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, I have a new goal to reach 100 subscribers. Uh, now uh, you have to search for three tools on Google. The first uh, website that pops up is a complete scam. Don't click on it. Uh, then click on the official website, then to three tools download, then download for Windows. If you have a Mac OS computer, uh, you press download for Mac OS. Uh, wait for it to download uh, and then open the setup. Uh, it takes a while to open. I don't know why, I have an SSD installed on my computer. You have to agree their uh, terms and conditions. Uh, this part of the video is sped up 10 times if you want to know. Uh, then press on launch. Click not prompt and then OK. Wait for it to read the device's information and then press jailbreak now. It will download the jailbreak tool and also install it. And then you have to press order. Um, this is a jailbreak for devices below iOS 9. Uh, then you will uh, have to wait. Also this part of the video is sped up. 10 times then you have to go on your iPhone and uh, go to settings general date and time and turn off set automatically then uh, press on the date and scroll down to uh, June 2014 you have to put a date before the 6th of June 2014 uh, it can be any date before that date then exit the settings app and close the iPhone Then uh, wait for it to transmit jailbreaking data and open your iPhone again, unlock it and go to the new Pengu icon on the screen. Press continue and uh, then wait for it to do its thing. Also sped up 10 times here. Uh, it will restart a few times, I think 3 times. And uh, then it will be ready. It will reboot. Then it will say, welcome to Pangu jailbreak. Then you have to press the home button once. And then wait. 
for Pango to install Cydia. Then the device will reboot again. Then uh, you have to unlock it and Cydia will be there. And you, uh, Pangu is not usable because it already installed Cydia. Then Cydia will prepare its files and the phone will restart again. Unlock it, uh, if you have a SIM press OK or unlock it, then go to Cydia and as you can see it works perfectly. Uh, you have to give it a minute to load uh, for the first time. And uh, tomorrow I'll post a video on how to uh, add sources and what are the best sources for Cydia and for the iPhone 4. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, this video is my second video. Uh, my first video, uh, when at the time when I'm posting this, got 33 views and 5 likes and 1 comment. And I'm sorry that I didn't mention in it, but that is a tethered bypass. That means that it's not permanent. It's just um, until you restart it. After you restart it, it you have to plug it. it you ha will you'll have to plug it in back in your computer and do that process again without the seven zip part. So thank you and bye.